Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whatever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, we have some politicians in Nyanza region, especially in Luan Nyanza, who are really trying so much hard to embrace William Samoy Ruto. They are trying by using everything possible. In fact, Raila brought here a serious discussion on matters to do with the election rigging, stealing election, which has gained a momentum in this country. It is making people to turn in the office. They cannot sit down and relax. So Evans Kidero was, an inter was, on, an, well, he was on, on an interview. And during that interview, Kidero made some loose remarks that um, the claim that Raila Odinga is making cannot change anything. Ruto was rightfully elected into the office. Let me just quote him. This is what he said. Claiming that Ruto did not win is like chasing the wind. Winning election is done at the polling station. That's seventh Kidero for you. Mark the word. Winning election is done at the polling station. Evans Kidero. But then, wait a minute. I remembered one thing. That the man who is busy here telling us this issue is also in the court. He has a case against the Homer Bay governor, Gladys Wang. Kidero went to court and they are sued. The Independent, Independent Electoral Boundary Commission, that is IBC, he has sued Homer Bay County Returning Officer Frederick Apopa. He has sued Wanga, Deputy Governor Oyugi Magwanga, and the ODM Party as the first respondent, third, fourth, and fifth defendant, respectively. You know what? If you check even the claim that Kedero is making, Wanga managed to get 244,559 votes against Kidero, who got 154,182 votes. And I said, my viewer, Kura. So the question is if he believes that Raila is making noise which cannot make any change, and again, he believed that Raila lost the election at polling station. Then, what about this case? Is it a double standard? What about this case? <laughs> this case was heard by, it was uh, uh, handled by Justice Roslin Aburile. And uh, she stated that the judgment will be delivered on 3 p.m. That will be uh, March, eh? somewhere March 7th at 3 p.m. After the court has had the hearing, then they are going to make the conclusion. So March 7th, 3 p.m., they are going to deliver this matter. This Kidero who is talking is waiting. Gladys Wanga is waiting for the court to make their pronunciation, either upheld or nullify this election. So, so look at that. Then you tell me when these people speak, really, do they listen to themselves? I'm just here to expose Evans Kidero, the double standard is bringing and tell him openly that he does not make any sense when he come out to speak on this matter of stealing election. There's no one who can run away from this unless if he believe that he lost the election then he should tell us what is he doing in the courts in Homer Bay or is he just there to frustrate Gladys Wang and indeed in my own view I believe 
Look at that margin. The difference between Kidero and Gladys Wanga, it is big. We are talking about 9,377 votes. That's the difference. Gladys Wanga won this election with a landslide. But look at the difference between William Ruto and Raila Odinga. Given that these people got votes in, uh, to a tune of, you know, they were getting in millions. So they got in the millions, all of them, but the difference was merely 230,000 votes. But look, these people, they got their vote in hundred thousands. But now the difference between Kidero and Wanga is almost 100,000. It's a huge difference. So these are the kinds of politicians we are having as of now. As we continue with this discussion, just a quick request for those who are watching and you're not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to our channel subscribers and master. Thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give our video a thumbs up. Thank you, and let us continue with this discussion. So my question is, what is your view on this matter? How do you see Kidero? Is he truthful? Yes, we know he wants to please William Samai Ruto. You know, some people are hungry. They need something. They're looking for appointments. Another reason is that they have corruption cases they are facing. So because of such things, they come in and then start pressing even losers, make them look like they won election. But then if you follow them, you find that they also have the same problem. So there is a way you can support William Ruto, Mr. Kidero. But at least be smart. Don't go this much low. The truth is that you have corruption cases. And besides corruption cases, you are a hungry man looking for a job. But then even in your hunger, you should learn on how to speak, when to speak, and what to speak about. You cannot be a one man who is complaining about election, and by the way, you are being sued the IBC, and Raila Odinga is complaining about IBC. So what are you telling us here? Because in one hand, you agree with Raila Odinga about IBC, but then in the other hand, you want to glorify a loser who rigged his way to state house? How? It's not making sense. Mm -hmm. So I'm seeing a man with a double standard who want to embrace William Ruto. But Kenyans are not stupid. They can see him. Even if they call for another election, 90,000 is too much. I mean, Kidero, you got. 154,000. 90,000 is big. Still, Gladys Wanga might just beat you in this election. Because again, she's going to land on sympathy. So why are you still waiting for results from the, Supreme, uh, from the High Court? Why did you use your money to go and launch a case? If you believe that election is lost and won at the polling station, then where were you at the polling station? It means you too, you lost at the polling station. If that is what you want to make us to believe. So these are some of the politicians we have to call out and tell them the truth. He should not try to say that William Ruto won election through the ballot at the polling station. And if he has to say that, first of all, he should rush to the High Court and withdraw that case he has against the elected governor with the majority votes who won with a landslide. Go ahead and withdraw that case against Dallas Wanga, against IBC, against ODM party. Then you can come and lecture us about winning election on the polling station. As simple as that. 
I don't know your views, but what do you see in this? Because for me, I am surprised that there's a way you can defend someone. You need to be smart so that people will not see you, you are a liar. But you can see Kidero is totally just lying. And this has just backfired on him. It has shown that he is a leader of no integrity. He don't know how to lie. So he should not try anytime soon.